Hello and welcome back everyone to the Anubhav learning series. In this series of videos, we are learning how to integrate SAP cloud application programming model with MongoDB and build an end-to-end -end Fury application which can read write data from Mongo database. Currently, there is no direct support from the CAPM site to talk to MongoDB. Hence, we are going to use manual approach to connect to Mongo database. In our last session, we have seen how to set up your free Mongo trial database. If you've not seen that video, kindly check the description of this video. I will now go ahead and show you how do you create a CAPM project in local tool called VS Code and then create a connection to our Mongo database in the today's episode. So these will be the steps which we will be following. We will first create a empty CAPM project using so-called CDS init command. Once this is created, we will create a data model to store customer data. In this customer data table, we will be including a ID field, UUID field, and then after that, we will be creating a service. As a result of this service, we will implement the service implementation. And during this process, we will connect to our Mongo database for service implementation, the post method on our entity set. So finally, we will implement the post method in our next episode and test the same using Postman. So let's get started. So I will switch over back to our development tool, which is going to be VS Code here. So let me just close everything. Now I go to my computer and create a folder on my computer. So let me go and create a folder on my computer. In one of the computer folder, I will just go and create a new folder called Mongo app or cap Mongo. And now I'm going to use this folder as a workspace. So let's copy that, right click and add to VS Code tool and add the folder which we just added empty folder has been created nice as a next step what we will be doing is we will be going ahead and creating a empty or initializing empty project make sure you have already done a npm install cds dk library to get the cds command if you're not done so make sure you have already a node version available so just check your node version i'm using node version 14 in addition to that, you have already installed npm install globally CDS DK, SAP CDS DK library. This is already there in your system. These two are the prerequisites to get started with the, the concept of CAPM. If you're not, if you're new to CAPM, please check the description of the video or click on the I button where I linked a complete end to end series of getting started and working with CAPM. You can go through that. Okay. So now we will just do a CDS init command, which is going to initialize our CDS project. And it has got DB service and it app folder. So in the DB folder, now I'm going to create a new file called data model. Dot CDS. And we are going to grab the code from our slide. Please check the description of the video to get the source code of this, this slide as well. So we are referring some of the uh, some of the standard data model options. And then as a next step, we are just going ahead and creating a customer entity, which is in or adding an aspect of CUID and managed. And then we have a couple of properties for customer like customer name, type, email ID, contact number, address and company name. Now, additionally, what I will also do is just run a NPM install command so that all the required modules for this CAPM project will be added to my, my project as node modules. So right after CDS init, ideally we should run NPM install. And then after only we should create models. So you can see there's an error coming while it's just doing a check. And this error will get resolved once your, once your required modules are added to the project. Now, in order to connect to Mongo database, we are also going to add a node module as dependency called MongoDB. So let me add that. So npm install MongoDB. This is going to add our MongoDB database driver. 
So once the driver is added, we will be able to utilize this driver to do connectivity with Mongo database. So now I can see at least this error is also gone after NPM install was executed. You don't have to use SQLite at the moment. Neither you have to run CDS deploy here. So that's something which is not needed at the moment. All right. So this is our step number one. We initialize a project. We add our database table, very simple table to store customer data. Next step is to add service. So let's create a catalog service.cds. And a corresponding JavaScript file as well. So I'm going to go to catalog service.cds and I'm just going to grab this. So what it is doing, it's just pointing to our data model in the DB folder. And finally, it is redefining a new catalog service with the name catalog service. And then it's exposing the entity customer. So due to copy paste, there are there's some space characters which I just get rid of. So this is our catalog service which is created. Now we will go to the JS file. In the JS file, now I'm going to write the logic to connect to our Mongo database. So let's see what are we doing. So first we add the CDS dependency. And now you can see I'm adding Mongo driver DB dependency. This driver we have already installed. If you go to package JSON, you can see the dependency is already there for Mongo. Yes. And next step is we are going to now give a URL. This is our connection URL to our database. I know that the technique which I'm using is very rudimentary technique to do connection. Ideally, I should have a reusable module which should do all this. But for time being, we will just learn and focus on connectivity and reading writing data to Mongo. Of course, in near future, I will try to modularize this code and publish a new node module for all of you, which you can directly import and start doing connectivity. Maybe we anticipate SAP to also do something in near future with Capum so that we, we don't have to write this extra boilerplate code. But for now, let's proceed. So where do you get this database URL from? So this database URL you can get from your database cockpit of MongoDB. So switch over to database cockpit of MongoDB and here you can see the connect option. You click on connect and you choose connect to your application. Choose Node.js and version 2.2.12 or later. And now here you can see the complete connection string. Make sure before you build the connection string, you have already went to the database access and added a user and you have also added a password. So while you create a new database user, it will also ask you permission. So give full permission as an admin and also add a password. So you should have a username. So here my username is Anubhav and I already know my password as well. So I will switch over back to database and go to the connect option. And then I'm going to use this option and I will copy this connection URL. And now remember you see here my first database. So this is something which you can customize. If you want to create database with a different name, you can choose that. Okay, so let's go back and paste our URL connection URL. And of course, we will now change our database name here. Yes, so this name we will change and we'll put a different name. So let me put a name called um, maybe I will say uh, Q Q U O. Yes, or I can say Anubhav trainings. This is my database name. I wanted to keep. And here in the DB name also we put that. And now this password is something which I am going to grab also from the from my uh, connection. So for time being, I will just pause the video and put my password here securely, and then I will scroll down. So you will not see my code basically. So I am just going to pause the video, put my password, and then I'm going to scroll down. So then we will proceed with this part. Okay. So let's uh, do that. I am just pausing my video. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so now I have maintained my password and complete connection string out there, and I've just hidden that from you all of you because that's a, a more of a secure information. 
And now here you can see I'm expecting a implementation for my customer. So customer is my entity, which we already created in our data model. We are grabbing an instance for that entity. And then we are saying whenever somebody insert data on that entity, whenever somebody fire an insert a post request on that entity, please call this function. So now we will uh, end our session for today. And in our next episode, I will show you implementing this function where we will have the the handling of insert. So how to insert data to Mongo database. So this is what we will be implementing. So in this function, basically uh, we will be implementing a connection to our database and then we will also fire a insert statement to Mongo database using our database client driver. So hope you enjoying this series of videos. I will catch you in my next session. Please share subscribe this channel for more interesting videos like this and we'll see you again in the next session. Thank you so much once again. Have a nice day. Goodbye.